the same Santa from last night? There's only one Santa. Of course there is, cutest child in the world. What's your name? I'm Lyndon, who are you? I'm Eve, and this is my sister Lacey. Nice to meet you. We're here visiting from the city for Christmas. What are you gonna ask Santa for? I'm gonna ask him for some answers. I'm gonna ask Santa to bring my daddy back for more. That's all I can ever want for Christmas. Oh. I know for a fact that Christmas is the day that Santa grants wishes. Mine came true. I hope yours does too. Thanks. Nice work, London. How did you get so good at this? My dad and me used to bake with my grandma before you had to go away. Well, I'm happy you're here to help. You made it! Here, grab some frosting. Actually, I need to talk to you about your cards. I hand-painted them myself. They're very nice, Paul. They're just... They're stalkery, and weird, and it's too much. And when were you at my window? Okay, I can take a hint. No more cards. <laughs> I mean, it's not a hint. I am explicitly telling you to stop. Lacey, you're looking beautiful this morning. Here's a little something for Paul. Uh, actually, London, that's very nice, but... Lacey doesn't like cards. She doesn't like cards, but you make the best cards in the world, Paul. Well, not everyone likes everything, and that's okay. I don't like candy canes. Some people think I'm crazy. Sometimes my dad sends me cards from work, and they make me so happy. Mommy says he can't be home for Christmas this year, but I hope he sends me a card. You know what? I would love that card from Paul. Sometimes I can be grumpy and I forget to be grateful. I understand. Thank you, token adorable child. And, uh, thank you, Paul. Paul said you came to help us decorate cookies. I would love to help you. Yay! You can sit right next to me. Okay. Eve, are you ready for Christmas tomorrow? I don't know if I'm going to be celebrating Christmas this year, London. What? Why? I thought the holiday falls, everything would be different. But I think my problems just followed me here. Maybe I'm what's wrong with my life. But Eve, tomorrow's Christmas. It's the day that wishes come true. You told me, remember? I don't know anymore. Don't say that, Eve. If your wish doesn't come true, what about mine? Pardon me, little girl. Look, you're absolutely adorable, but you're in my way. I have a plane to catch. Russell, listen, you need to sing at the festival. I'm afraid that's out of the question. But you promised the whole town is waiting for you. I'm sorry, little girl, but there's nothing anyone can do to convince me to go to the festival tonight. Russell, you don't want to make a little girl cry.
I have to pull some doubles this week. When are we going to bake cookies? We'll find time, sweetie, I promise. All right, listen, I have to go Christmas shopping, so I have to go tonight. Oh, boy. Oh, what? Uh, nope, nope. The shelter needs me to write a grant tonight, so I have to work a little late. Okay. Kelly, how'd you like to go to Karen's? With your new puppy? I'm good with it. That's my girl. <laughs> there we go. You know I love you so much? Love you, too. I love you more. I love you more. 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 I love you, Infinity. Oh, Mommy. Okay, I need a Kelly. Mommy! Kelly! Hi. What's that? We had to draw a picture for what we're thankful for, and I drew you. Oh, that's, that's really thoughtful. Thank you. Where to now? Mommy, you're funny. Let's go home. Yes, home. Perfect. It's popcorn night. What's popcorn night? It's where you make popcorn and brownies and grilled cheese and put it all around the tree. It's popcorn night. Popcorn night. Popcorn night. Sounds like we're gonna be busy. What's that other piece of paper? It's my reading homework. I got a silver star. A silver? Well, don't worry. I'm sure next time you'll get a gold. Hmm. Come. March, hop two, let's go. Glitter, why don't you keep putting that green icing on the new? I'm going to uh oh, it's spelling on. Oh, it's spelling. Okay, let's put it on a cookie then. Yeah, use your fingers. Why not? That's a bold choice. <laughs> Look how good you are at this. I mean, you could be a professional. I wish I was good reading stories like KM and cookies. Well, I bet you're a better reader than you think you are. I can help you with that, you know. You can? Mm -hmm, sure. I'll just make a schedule to fit in reading every day. Okay. Because you know, all your success in life begins with being a good communicator, and that begins with reading. Very important you do the work. Oh, what is it, honey? <laughs> right back at you. Good. Can I build one right here? Mm -hmm. And let's do one this way, too. Okay. How's school going? Great. Yeah? I'm getting gold stars now. Oh, wow. You are so smart. I can read all by myself. Oh, really? How did you manage all that? My mom helped me prioritize my time. What does that mean? She gave me a chore chart, and we read a story at bedtime. Chore chart? Do you like to help your mom? I love helping my mom. She gets to do stuff that she really likes. Plus, Mommy's happy, too. Julia decorated the house for the first time in years. I don't know what got into her, but I love it. Same here. So finally, we have some order in the house, so Audrey has some time to herself. And in typical fashion, I didn't realize I was part of the problem. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me all the time. I'm gonna see you in the other room. Okay. Keep building. <laughs>